Hey guys, welcome back to Bronson's Math Club. Today we'll be learning how to turn subtraction into addition. So what exactly do I mean when I say turning subtraction into addition? Well, when you come to think of it, we are talking about integers, and integers are just positive or negative numbers. Now, zero is also an integer even though it is not positive or negative. So when you're solving integer problems, that means you're solving numbers that have a positive sign and a negative sign in front of it, oftentimes you will find yourself with problems that have parentheses in them. In those cases, you can turn subtraction into addition. So this is basically like a trick to help you solve integer problems. So let's go ahead and do an example. So let's say that we have the problem. So it has parentheses and then we have positive and negative numbers. So let's say we have the problem negative 3 minus, and then in parentheses, we have negative 56 and close the parentheses. Now here we see that we have a negative sign out, outside of the parentheses and inside the parentheses we have a negative 56. So this is our negative sign over here and then this is our negative 56. Now why am I not considering the negative 3? Well because the negative 3 is a separate term itself and the negative is a separate term itself, and the ne negative 56 is a separate term. So we have to keep in mind that these are all separate terms. So we can only distribute, so when we have parentheses, we're actually distributing that sign. We can only distribute the one that is exactly outside of the parentheses. So in this case, it's the negative sign. So negative, we can also write this as negative 1 to make it easier when we're multiplying. So if I, if I distribute the negative 1 over to negative 56, that means I'm multiplying a negative 1 by a negative 56. Now remember this, whenever you multiply a negative by a negative, you will always get a positive answer. So we're going to bring down the negative 3 as it is, and then when we multiply negative 1 by positive, I mean, sorry, negative 56, we will get positive, and then 1 times 56 is 56. So as you can see, the number didn't change, it's just a sign that changed. So that is how we su turn subtraction into addition. And now we can go ahead and solve. So we have a negative 3 and a positive 56. Remember that we take the sign of the bigger number. So in this case, we have a 56. So our answer will have a positive uh, sign because 56 is a positive number. And then we're going to subtract since they have different signs. So 56 minus 3 is going to give us 53. And this is our answer to this integer problem. All right, let's go ahead and do another example. So this time, let's say that we have positive 4, and then we have a negative 2, and in parentheses we have negative 31 plus 2. So remember, only consider the term that is exactly outside of the parentheses. So we have a negative 2 outside of the parentheses and we have a negative 31 uh, inside of the parentheses. So we have to distribute the negative 2 to a positive, I'm sorry, negative 31. So we're going to multiply it. So remember, bring the rest of the terms down just as they are. So we have positive 4 and then if we multiply a negative by a negative, we're going to get positive. 31 times 2 is going to give us 62 and then bring down the positive 2 as it is. All right, now all we have to do is add all these together. So 4 plus 62 gives us 66 plus 2, which gives us 68. So the final answer to this integer pro problem is 68, or it is really a positive 68, but you really don't need to put the sign in front of it because remember, if a number does not have a sign, that means it is always going to be a positive number. Alright, so that's all I have for this video. Thanks for watching, and I hope you guys learned this trick on how to turn subtraction into addition, and this really helps when you're solving integer problems. Okay, so thanks again, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye!